Hello, hello, everyone. So as we finish out the 10,000 Days album, Andrew and Nick here, uh, we decided to take a little bit of a left or a right turn, however you want to look at it. And we're going to take a look at some work by Pussifer. Um, Nick, this is still Maynard, James Keenan. Uh, this would be considered initially his solo project, although there are permanent band members now. And we'll get into them as we approach more songs. Uh, he uses female vocalists. Um, a lot of electronic backing, um, but still, this is a great example of Maynard has a message, somewhat sexual, but it's really bigger than that. So, of course, it's going to fit in with our theme here of what spiritual messaging is out there, you know, in American rock. So, with that, this is Rev 2220. Um, like I usually ask, what do you know about Rev 2220? I know we looked at the Bible verse. What do you think this song could be about without trying to read into it too much up front yeah, i don't know uh yeah there's a couple of different translations we looked at there uh, well let's as we say in italy in italy bo means i don't know um let's find out should be fun though sure it's uh, i think i think we have the potential for for having some fun here for sure Okay, um, without any further ado, Pucifer, Rev 2220, here we go. Give a good God damn about redemption. I know Christ is coming. So my you would too if the sex and devil caught your eye, she'll suck you dry. We still you cry to be back in the bosom. To try again. She'll make you weep. To be back in home Until I can die a little 
Analyzing my samples of pounding The pressure is so overwhelming I'm building so steady that Freddy I'm ready to blow What is you, what is you, what is you waiting for? So just just a little graphic. Uh, yeah, and I <laughs> I can't say that I'm surprised. I mean, we like you said, we we took a look at the the, the Bible verses, and uh, you know, and it's it's constantly. I I've had this joke before about you know why are evangelicals so homophobic when they're constantly asking some name, some dude named Jesus to come inside them. I mean, it's an easy, it's an easy, it's an easy joke to make. I mean, yeah, Jesus I mean, this rising, whole song, it's, Jesus it's coming. It's a very Jesus, easy, yeah. yeah. But the thing is, is even beyond that, you know, when I try to look just past the surface, to me, the she, mm. the, you know, the, the thighs to ride to hell between, I really believe that he's kind of talking directly about Western religion, that you're going to pray till you go blind. You're going to get, you know, it's going to eat you alive. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are in the organization. It's going to consume you. And even Jesus Christ himself, if this were the path given to him, maybe he would do some pretty raunchy, nasty, bad things just to Obtain nirvana, get back to heaven. Whatever it is that you're looking for, you're willing to set aside all of your morality in an effort to achieve it, even mm -hmm. if it costs you your life. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think nobody ever survives is pretty obvious that nobody ever survives. I mean, on a long enough timeline, the survivability rate is zero, right? Um, I also, I mean, the she, yeah, the she, again, can just be, you know, again, uh, in Kabbalistic thought, the feminine is the receiver, right? So identifying the she as, uh, as the, the ultimate of egoism, I mean, we want to be in it. We don't want out of it. And I'll talk to you. What are you waiting for? You know, you do all these things to get it and obtain it, and then it's still not unobtainable. Not, not enough. enough. Yeah. It's never. It's never enough. You were there once. You do whatever you could to get back in that bosom, but yeah. you can't. Yeah, you can't I have mean, that oneness. <laughs> especially, especially, and I. Okay, number one, <laughs> just as an artist, I really like how he's branching out. It sounds completely different from anything we've really heard before. And so it's really cool that he's experimenting with new, new sounds, new, new expressions. It's, 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 it's cool in that way. Um, but yeah, in terms of, uh, yeah, I mean, from being, being a guy who was pretty sex obsessed, uh, it's, it's something I can relate to. It's something I can easily understand. Um, and you know, it's, to not want to be driven by your basic desires, whatever they are, for me, sex was a big deal. For some, uh, I have a friend who is just crazy about alcohol. He just really wanted to be drunk all the time. I mean, whatever it is, whatever our, our, our catch is, I mean, to come to a point where you're willing to turn your back on it or somehow transform it into something else, I mean, that's that 
that's going someplace pretty special that most people I don't think really start to contemplate because I mean that desire that itch that scratch we 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 do want it even yeah and you can feel that towards the end of the song that that ripping and tearing and it doesn't matter what you do you know at that point you're destroying everything around you just to try to obtain it once again well there's uh, there is the concept that every every desire or every pleasure excuse me every pleasure has the sting of death within it right if you uh if you pursue it to its extremity you will die from it right even if it's and i just, think he says that in the lyrics he says just to die a little bit more yeah uh, you know i want to get it so that i can be a little bit closer to that yeah. ultimate moment if i keep on scratching until i cause myself that infection that ends my life i mean i'm scratching because it feels good but then eventually that will give way yeah and it won't be enough <laughs> Okay. So yeah, well, I'm I'm definitely glad that that you like this song. Um, it bodes well. We're gonna, you know, hop around as we go through Fear Inoculum. We're gonna try to lay some Pussifer music in there, maybe some A Perfect Circle, and obviously some other bands. Nick with Pussifer, there are some solid albums, but nothing really that needs to be listened to back to back to back to back, track after track. Um, there's a lot of work out there that was basically like this song remixed five different times, and he does that a bunch. Like you said, he's experimenting with new sounds. He needs a place for these messages that are probably flooding his head to go. And so that's how we got this other band, uh, Pussifer. So uh, with that, uh, like the video. If you definitely do, subscribe to us if you're interested in Pussifer. If you love Tool, we've got quite a few albums worth of work available there too. Uh, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Let us know in the comments what you think about this and some of our other work. Thanks so much. Great. Thanks so much. See you next time.